Now you have intubated the baby, but then there is sudden deterioration after intubation. So what what would have happened? Okay, in the such cases, dope is the pneumonia. Okay, either the tube is displaced, means the tube isn't not in trachea. Okay, or the tube is obstructed. Okay, then we have to suction the trachea, or if it is displaced, you remove and again intubate. See what do you do? In displaced endotracheal uh, trachea, first you confirm whether it is displaced or not. So you see directly by seeing through the laryngoscope is one. Okay. Or uh, second thing is by calorimetry. Okay. CO2. Confirmation by CO2. The second thing is obstruction by endotracheal tube. Then you suction the uh, tube. ET tube by suction catheter of a smaller size, one smaller size. Okay, say if it is 2.5 mm of ET tube, then you use 5 French or 6 French um, suction catheter. Okay, uh, then you suction and then again bargain mask. See, even if after this it is not, it is not improving, then you might suspect pneumothorax. Then you need to see pneumothorax by cold light. Okay, uh, in a dark room, through cold light, you if you suspect pneumothorax, you can confirm bedside or you can take an emergency chest x-ray, but you need not wait for an emergency chest x-ray. If it is pneumothorax and the chest is not moving on that side and cold light is positive, you can directly go and uh, suction the uh, pneumothorax by inserting a needle, inserting a needle in the second in, uh, yeah, second intercostal space in the mid clavicular line or fourth intercostal space in the mid axillary line. You understood? So th these are the positions wherein you suck, uh, you uh, suction the pneumothorax. Okay. Or if any, all these are right, means it is not displaced, it is not obstructed, there isn't any pneumothorax, then there might be an equipment failure itself, means the bag and mask might not be proper. Okay, or the oxygen source is not proper, or if you have connected to the ventilator, there is a failure in the equipment. Okay, see if you are not able to achieve a ET tube means in a situation where you cannot secure an ET tube in the intubation means ET intubation, then we go for laryngeal mask airway. This is a successful rescue airway. Okay, so if it is unsuccessful or not feasible, okay. When bag and mask is unsuccessful again, this can uh, here also, or uh, in situations wherein pre peri robin sequence means it is difficult to insert the ET tube. Peri robin sequence, what happens is the mandible is small, okay, so the jaw is retracted, tongue falls back. So, in such situations also, before doing ET tube intubation itself, you can go for laryngeal mask airway, okay. Here it is, the laryngeal mask airway. Okay, this uh, this is uh, against the palate. Okay, this is against the palate. Okay, here, uh, this is the rim. Okay, and this one is the tube. This rim is soft cushioned rim with air, air filling bag. Okay, so you take a 5 ml syringe after inserting, after inserting into the mouth, you take a 5 ml syringe and in, and uh, give only 4 ml of air into it to secure it properly once you have inserted, okay? The back, the back of the laryngeal mask should be placed against the heart palate and pushed down slowly, slowly, and there would be a release. Once you feel that release, there you secure the airway by insert, uh, means uh, pushing some air into the uh, airbag means uh, this rim yeah now uh, we move ahead with the next see imagine in situation where is you have uh, secured an ET tube and laryngeal mask airway cardiac monitor everything and then you have given positive pressure ventilation for around 60 seconds and still the heart rate is less than 60 seconds here we have to wait for 60 seconds and still the heart rate is less than 60 then we move ahead with this next step the next step is 
chest compressions okay now at the when you go for chest compressions we have to uh, give 100% oxygen fio2 should be 100% oxygen